In an upcoming biopic, Selena Gomez will formally play music icon Linda Ronstadt. After getting caught speculating about Timothy Chalamet, 28, and Kylie Jenner, 26, at the Golden Globes on Sunday, Gomez, 31, took a social media break and shared a picture of Ronstadt's 2013 memoir Simple Dreams earlier this week, with Rolling Stone confirming the new movie. Pre-production on the biopic is presently underway, with James Keach and John Boylan, Ronstadt's manager, serving as co-producers. The biopic's release date and other cast information are still pending. Ronstadt, 77, and Gomez are both of Mexican ancestry. In August 2013, Linda disclosed that she had Parkinson's disease. She was compelled to stop singing due to the diagnosis. She went for a checkup with a doctor since she was experiencing tingling in her arm and shoulder, and the diagnosis was confirmed. It was discovered in late 2019 that physicians had changed their diagnosis to progressive supranuclear palsy, a degenerative condition that shares symptoms with Parkinson's and is frequently confused for it. Linda, who has sold over 100 million albums, was open and honest when asked about her future. Well, I guess the long-term prognosis is death, she remarked. Eventually, something is going to kill you. Parkinson's disease takes a very long time to kill you. Most likely, something else will catch you first. I don't give it much thought. I consider the events of today, since I don't believe I have access to a crystal ball. 2009 saw her give her last performance at the Municipal Auditorium in San Antonio. Released in 2006, her latest album is a duet with Cajun singer Anne Savoy, which Ronstadt believes to be one of her best. They say your life flashes before your eyes when you die, she remarked. However, it also does so when you stop singing. She said in 2014 that her voice had been taken away by illness, stating, it wouldn't sound like anything. I am unable to access the note. I'm not able to produce any good sound. I'm unable to set up a pitch. Maybe I'll hit one note and aim for another. It has a shouting-like tone. The singer of Don't Know Much remarked, I'm still getting around, but it's getting harder and harder. It's just very difficult to move. It's difficult for me to put on clothes, brush my teeth, and wash my hair. It's challenging to get out of a chair. However, once I start, I can go for a short while. I now just take a few short strolls around the neighborhood. I no longer walk down to the beach as often as I used to. My life is very different, the Bay Area resident from San Francisco continued. That's the only thing involved. She sold Irving Azoff's iconic artists group, her library, in 2021. In her prime, Ronstadt influenced the direction of folk rock music. The artist, who gained popularity with the hits You're No Good and When Will I Be Loved, was also famously engaged to George Lucas, the man behind Artist Wars in the 1980s. Although Linda never got married, she adopted a son, Carlos, in 1994, and a daughter, Mary, in 1990. Ronstadt is among the most successful female music artists in American history and was the most popular female singer of the 1970s. The news of Selena's new movie part follows her Tuesday night Instagram stories post in which she declared it was time for a social media vacation due to the controversy surrounding her Goldobes gossip session with 34-year-old Taylor Swift. The Grand Prairie, Texas native declared, I'm off social media for a while. I'm concentrating on the important things. The actress from Only Murders in the Building accompanied the message with a little video that she took of her 35-year-old partner, Benny Blanco, and two small children. A forensic lip reader confirmed that Selena and Swift were really chatting about Timothy and Kylie during the Golden Globes. But Selena had previously tried to deny the rumors. A video captured from their table included Gomez, Swift, and Miles Teller's wife, Kelly Sperry, having a very animated conversation. Selena began by waxing poetic to an astonished Taylor, and Kelly could be heard asking, with Timothy, before Selena nodded. The trio's chat was revealed by lip reader Jeremy Freeman, who claimed that Selena was refused a picture with Timothy, 28, and that she was afraid of upsetting him and Kylie, 26. Selena reportedly told Taylor and Kelly, he didn't want a picture with me, he said no, to which Kelly replied, Timothy, according to Freeman. After that, Taylor allegedly whispered in Selena's ear, to which the actress from Only Murders in the Building responded, I tried. I couldn't. 
it'll upset M. Even though Kelly is heard unmistakably stating Timothy's name, Selena now claims that she was actually chatting with two buddies that hooked up. No, I told Taylor about two of my friends who hooked up, the woman said on social media. Not that anyone's business is that. A Rainy Day in New York, directed by Woody Allen, featured Selena and Timothy as romantic leads back in 2018. Taylor lost to Barbie in her film The Eras Tour, and before the drama started, she was seen being comforted by her best friend Selena. This resulted in Taylor being beaten for the Cinematic and Box Office Achievement Award, a new category for the 2024 Globes. As soon as fans started to examine the video, they claimed Selena was explaining how she had asked Kylie, the star of Wonka, for a picture, but Kylie had supposedly said no. Selena allegedly said, I asked for a picture with him and she, Kylie Jenner, said no, according to a tweet from Pop Culture Gal. A fan commented, Selena is so real. When something bad happens to me, I immediately go to my girls. While a third person added, I just love Taylor's face. Another person wrote, she was making sure to yell that loud so everyone could hear her lymphao. Some others wrote, it was so clear though, and Selena with the gossip. Kelly is plainly audible when she says the name. A second person commented, I believe this T is about Timothée not saying hello to Selena, even though they are friends, because of Kylie. When you notice the other girl is shouting, new Timothée, there's another angle. Timothy, 27, star of Wonka, who was nominated for Best Performance by a Male Actor in a Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy for the film, was rushed into the ceremony late and clung onto his 26-year-old sweetheart's hand. Timothy matched Kylie's stunning appearance with a black sequined suit, and she looked amazing in a black backless dress adorned with sequins and glowing makeup. They were at their table staring at one another. A bystander remarks, they were just kissing during the commercial break. They didn't say anything to each other. It looked like high school or puppy dog love. Since they began dating in early 2023, the couple has increased the number of public appearances they have made together in recent months. Following accusations that she had made fun of Selena's eyebrows in a TikTok video, Kylie was compelled to address the matter in February 2023. The founder of Kylie Cosmetics denied having a questionable relationship with Gomez and even squashed rumors of a falling out between the singer and actress. The mother of two started her comment on a TikTok video posted by Devotedly.Yours on Wednesday by saying, This is reaching. I never saw Selena's eyebrow posts, so there's no shadow. You guys are making something out of nothing. She continued in the post. This is silly. The Keeping Up with the Kardashians alum said as she concluded her remark.